Welcome back to Run It Back before we get to Shams and the Hawks. Uh, Chandler, did you just turn into a hot L.A. girl with your Erewhon smoothie posts? I just want to make sure I know what's going on so people can follow you. I got a little smoothie. I got my shot. <laughs> I'm really on this. <laughs> I'm on this. I can't wait to get back right to L.A. <laughs> yeah, come on. All right, it's not just it's just the whole combo. Um, oh, all right, Sean, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's Chandler's just being ridiculous. Um, we had some news. It happened so fast, didn't it, out in Atlanta? But things are official now. Yeah, Quinn Snyder is signing a five-year deal to become the new Hawks head coach. I'm told the deal's in the neighborhood of $40 million. So this is their guy now. He's their franchise cornerstone when you think about the coach of the future. He's their franchise piece now. The guy that they're going to rely on to bring the culture, to bring the accountability for the organization. And when you look at Trey Young and Quinn Snyder, very curious to see how this superstar coach, superstar player partnership evolves. I'm told Donovan Mitchell had a conversation with Trey Young over the weekend and told Trey, you will love Quinn because he's going to push you and you'll want to fight for him. And so the reality is in Atlanta is that there's not any excuses anymore. Trey Young realistically has these next couple of months uh, to show some buy-in with Quinn Snyder, with this new regime that's going to be coming in now with Quinn Snyder uh, being at the helm. Uh, he has to prove that he can buy in. And, and if he doesn't, and, and if they're not able to figure out some cohesiveness, between the, the two parties in Snyder and Young, the Hawks are going to have some very serious decisions to make with Young and, and the roster of this team come summertime. Uh, but Chandler, you were there in Atlanta. You were around Trey Young and Lloyd Pierce. This is now the third coach uh, for Trey Young there. Uh, what do you make of the hire of Quinn Snyder and that relationship and the pressure that's going to be on that relationship moving forward? Well, I love the hire. I think Quinn Snyder was one of the best coaches in the league. I don't know why he ever left Utah. They, you know, they were a top team in their division, whatever. Uh, he's an offensive genius. Trey Young loves to play offense. And listen, Trey Young is not a bad guy. He's got this rep now of being this coach killer and this he he just came to the league as a young scorer where he was a point guard. And and I think he's I think he's misunderstood a little bit. He's not a bad dude. I actually spent a lot of time with Trey when I was there in Atlanta. Uh, he means well. He, I think I said one time he just the minute he matures a little bit and kind of gets more vet players around him he was drafted to the situation where he was the best player on day one he never really had any real vets me and evan turner were his vets the year i was there and we hung with him the most and he's a funny outgoing dude that works extremely hard he wants to win and he was in a real a tricky situation with lloyd pierce because i gotta be honest with you I, I get along with everybody i'm a very personal guy I couldn't stand that guy either. So, like, I, I don't blame Trey Young on, on the Lloyd Pierce firing at all. The Nate McMillan thing I wasn't there, I don't know about. But Quinn Snyder, from everything I've heard, he's a cool dude. He's a, he's a brilliant mind offensively, which I think Trey obviously excels with. Uh, he's going to know how to groom these young players like DeAndre Hunter, like uh, DeJounte Murray, like John Collins. He's got a talented team here where they can win in the next few years. And, and I think Trey knows now, too, like – five years 40 million dollars this dude ain't going anywhere so whether you like it or not he's gonna have to have a relationship with them and he's gonna at least fake it till you make it but trey's not that type of dude he's not a malicious dude he's not a, a jerk he's he's very coachable he just kind of has this rep now for whatever reason but i think quinn snyder's the perfect guy for him he knows how to get the best out of players he's going to push trey young but he's also going to, I think Trey's going to excel at his offense and where he puts him on the floor. So I think it works for both. And I think it should be great. Yeah, I think Any it's a good agree? pairing. And it's something, yeah, I think it's a good pairing. It's something Trey Young should be excited about. I know some of the whispers coming out of Atlanta was that this wasn't his choice of coach, but it, it's not really his choice to make anymore either. They're clearly heavily invested into Quinn Snyder as the future of this team. Landry Fields now is their GM. They've had a complete overhaul. And so you got to wonder, are they sitting there saying, hey, is he tradable? If he's not on board, do we get as many assets as we can this summer, next summer, soon, whenever, uh, to try to stock up our coffers for going forward? We've seen kind of the, the haul you can get for this type of player. We watched what Donovan Mitchell got traded for. You know, the, the Kevin Durant deal is probably above him, but you're, you'd imagine you're getting some, stock, uh, some draft stock back and, and, and ideally a player that we can start – and hopefully make an all-star game with going forward. Now, I don't know what that trade is and if that exists out there right now, but we've watched a couple teams pile up with draft picks, the Jazz, the, the, the Nets, the Thunder, 
Teams are getting ready for that next disgruntled superstar, and it might be the Hawks that jump in front of him and say, hey, you're not on board. You're the next disgruntled superstar. But I think it's a great spot for Trey Young if he locks in. All the reasons Chandler mentioned, he's a great offensive coach. Look at what he did with Donovan Mitchell in Utah. We've seen Trey Young go to the conference finals before as the hub of an offense. He can do it again, but they're just going to need to lock in. They're going to need to load up a little bit more on wing depth going forward with those two teams they got to deal with out there. But th there's a lot to like here going forward. So if Trey Young's on board, I think he's going to be a part of their future. But if he's not, we could just as easily see the Hawks say, all right, and then, and, and, and uh, cut bait now while they can. And Trey's a smart guy, right? Exactly. He knows he knows they're trading me before they fire this guy. So it's going to be a priority for him to vibe with this dude and make it work. It's like a totally different vibe. All right, all right, Shams, thank you. As always, we shall see you tomorrow morning. We'll take a quick break here. We come back. Jalen Brown says that 76ers fans were hella disrespectful. When we come back, Chandler will tell us about his own experiences with root fans, although he probably deserved it. <laughs>